Danny, your thoughts on the performance? Not very good. Good job we won the league, isn't it? Uh, you know, before your we, we we said all the right I said all the right things about uh, <coughs> maintaining standards and etc. And you, you leave York and it wasn't great, but well, it was what it was. So you go fair play to York. And today was really poor from start to finish. And you're saying fair play to the opposition again. They deserve the win. Uh, they won fair and square. And we were very disappointed. Gaffer's very very disappointed actually. Uh, and uh, certainly doesn't want our season to, to tail off as the champions that had 100 points in the grasp of their hands and, and didn't, didn't take it. So we've lost our unbeaten run today. Not many positives, I'm afraid uh, to say, and I like to be positive most of the time. Uh, a few more niggles and injuries and, uh, and players on the treatment table. So, yeah, not a very good day. Why was it so flat, do you think? Ooh, good question. Uh, I think they have to give credit to Kidderminster. I don't think we dealt with their threats. I think every time the ball went in the box, uh, felt like they might score. And that happens sometimes. It ha hasn't happened very often. Uh, and, and so you have to, that is the, the positive. Even the big positive, by the way, is that we've really won the league. But in the meantime, you can't sort of, uh, sort of just gloss over the facts that uh, we weren't very good in, in many departments today. Uh, and it's probably the first time we've had really had to say that this season, I think, where everything's been pretty poor. You never really felt like we were going to score today. And you felt that we were always going to concede goals. So, yeah, not many positives at all. The main one being, yep, yeah, the league's won, lovely. But you still want this place to be bouncing from, from here on in. And sadly, we didn't give the fans much to sing about today. Obviously, not in the game plan to give up a goal after about five minutes, but then to come back for the second period of the first half did really well. I bet the half-time message was, well, let's go again, wasn't it? Yeah, started poorly and got better than it first half. Uh, but we've conceded too many goals early in the second half, something this season. Run long ball. And to be fair, you know, say we've had uh, no excuse. We've got a few players not playing today. Freck hasn't played for a while, so he... It's going to be a bit rusty at times, uh, and so one long ball get, we get in, they get in, sorry, and they score. So that's disappointing that you can't sort of start the second half as you finish the first half. And then they probably had a couple more chances to maybe make it four or five, to be fair to them. And we didn't really have those chances bar Kingy's free kick. I think the goalie made a save. So, yeah, the gaffer said exactly what I've just said in there to all the players. Uh, everyone's very disappointed, everyone's very flat. You know, it's hard really because looking at it, you think, well, how can you be flat because you've won the league? And, but you are because you set your standards that high. And you want here and in the next few weeks to be party time. And you only make it party time if you bring something to the table on the pitch. And, and today we didn't do that. Obviously the team and yourselves and the staff have earned enough credits to put in a performance like this in a, in a weird sort of way. But you have a duty to the fans that turn up, don't you, as well? We have a duty to ourselves. You know, these players are absolutely different class. I've been quality all season. And like I think as a staff contributed loads. And the supporters uh, have been absolutely brilliant from, from day dot. And I think this is the first time really I've gone on the pitch to shake the referee's hand and there was a little bit of disappointment around the stadium and rightly so. Uh, so to have one of them out of 20 odd games, you, you know, you take that. But we had this point at York, we want to bounce back today, didn't. We've got to make sure on our next game at Wilstone, we certainly bounce back because we want this season to, to finish on any sort of uh, level like it, like that game finished today. It's incredibly hard to go through a complete season at home, you know, unbeaten, isn't it? But, and it's shown today, isn't it, as well? Mm. But is that the biggest disappointment of today, or the performance in the second half, maybe? I think, well, firstly, you lose the game. That's no. disappointing. I don't mind playing rubbish if you win the game, first and foremost. <laughs> but usually this season, we played well, and, that, and that's led to the correct result in our favour. Uh, I think the importance of, of finishing the season strongly, forget about records, is to A, keep, keep every, get feel good that feel good vibe around the place and be to take that momentum into next season because uh, I said it's going to be a, a tough tough it's tough going next season it's a big jump up and we've got to try and make sure we finish this season on a bit of a buzz keep the whole town buzzing which makes our start in the EFL uh, as, as smooth sailing as possible so listen it, it's not a, uh, a real down day as such uh, but you know when you've been playing this well all season or playing as well as we have all season uh, to, to not play very well at home against a team in the bottom four and, and lose and lose comfortably. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing. I say Gaffer's not happy. Uh, let his feelings known because he wants those standards to get get back to where they were and quickly. We've got 12 days now without a game. Uh, there's obviously quite a few players on the treatment table. Do you want to just name them? James Berry limping off as well didn't help today, did it? Yeah, there's a few. I mean, there's a bit of illness, a bit of tight hamstrings, and uh, I think you'd rather get it now, wouldn't you, when the, when the season's. Being what, uh, when sorry when the, when the promotion's been accomplished, uh, as opposed to getting it early on when you when you're playing Saturday Tuesdays in a real tough period over February, January, February. So you'd rather not have it at all. 
Uh, we're disappointed that you know, certain players weren't available today, but that's, that's not excuses. That's life. We've got a good squad, and the lads, more times than not, when, when have been called upon, have really filled the boots excellently. That's the that's the big lead at the top. But yeah. I've always said it's about the here and now, and the here and now today is that we're all uh, very disappointed with that result and performance. Thank you. No problem, Paul. Cheers.